let us see how to solve this question the function f of x is defined for what values of x so the function f of x given is square root of square root of x minus 3 minus square root of 5 minus x first let's go from inside to outside so if we take a look at this first square root for the function to be defined the value inside this square root has to be greater than or equal to 0 so the first condition that we obtain is x minus 3 must be greater than or equal to 0 and from this we get x must be greater than or equal to 3. Now if we take a look at the second square root we have square root of 5 minus x again the value inside the square root must be greater than or equal to 0. From this we get x less than or equal to 5. Now if we take a look at the final square root again the value inside this square root has to be greater than or equal to 0. So the value inside this square root is square root of x minus 3 minus 5 minus x and this value also must be greater than or equal to 0. Now let us take square root of 5 minus x to RHS. We will have square root of x minus 3 greater than or equal to square root of 5 minus x and we know that the value of square root is always greater than or equal to 0. So we can square this on both sides without changing the sign and upon squaring we get x minus 3 greater than or equal to 5 minus x and taking x to the RH, LHS and 3 to the RHS we get 2x greater than or equal to 5 plus 3 which is 8. So x must be greater than or equal to 4. Now we need to pick out the values of x that satisfies all these three conditions. In the first condition we obtained x value to be greater than or equal to 3 and in the third condition we obtained the value of x to be greater than or equal to 4 which means that the value of x must be greater than or equal to 4 and we obtain the value of x to be less than or equal to 5. So the domain of the function is x greater than or equal to 4 and less than or equal to 5. So the correct answer is option C.